So we've heard a lot about Tesla's version 11 update, the holiday update, if you will, and how certain people aren't happy with it. But of course, I don't have my car yet. Mike does. You I have do. some experience with version 11. <laughs> and I want to know specifically what everyone's uh, ranting about because I don't get to experience it daily yet. Let's hear from an owner of the Model Y since two years ago. Yeah, basically. It's been two years with this thing. Pretty comprehensive machine. I've seen it basically only in this one configuration that it's had on the bottom toolbar of it for basically two years and they finally changed it up to something a little bit newer, a little bit different, maybe a little bit more modular, some might say. Is this the worst the software's ever been? It's the worst it's wow. ever been. <laughs> worst ever. Okay, look. So where do we where do we start? This has all been redesigned from before. Yeah, this is all redesigned. Mm -hmm. Now the car button's still there, which yeah. is nice. All the things are right there. But mm -hmm. if you ever want to heat your seat, there used to be a nice little button right here that you yeah, press. Yeah, I remember no that. Heated seat button. It's not even in here anymore. Or this is you all can't add it to in here. No. Wow. It's not in there. What you so have if to you do want a is, heated seat. So first, you don't have the air conditioning on because you're trying to save energy. Or yeah. Maybe you do. But then you have to press it. That to turns it on. Turn it on. Okay. And then press it again. Access the menu. I then see. Then you can finally hit your heated seat. The air conditioning's on. Oh, okay. So now you have to turn off. The heated seat's still on. I can tell oh. because my booty is getting a little bit warmer. <laughs> so there's no quick command to turn on the heated seat, essentially. Besides the voice command, but if you're having oh, a conversation okay. with someone else in the car, yeah. it's a little bit rude to interrupt that person by saying, my butt is cold or hot. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's, you have to turn on the AC to activate the heated seats. Yeah, or if I want to change it, because mm -hmm. right now my butt is getting a little bit too warm, so now mm -hmm. I have to go in here Turn on the AC again. Wow. And then change it to two bacon strips or one bacon strip or noodles. So that's gone from like one to two taps to now five or six taps. Basically, I mean, we could count it right here. One, two, it'd be three if you mm -hmm. want immediately heated seats or four if you want to. Mm -hmm. I guess before it used to be a button right here and you just tap once to enable the right. heated seat on its highest setting and okay. then press it again to bring it down a little bit. Well, do you like at least that this has become more customizable or did you, did you kind of left it on the default setting? I kind of left it. I did change it up. It used to have the streaming icon down here. Yeah. But now I've replaced that with Spotify. Mm -hmm. I totally forget what I had. I guess maybe I'll put dash cam right there. I mean, but... it's nice that these were all monotone and they are trying to spice it up, I feel like, with the color that wasn't there before, but I'm not feeling these icons personally. No. Like, they look kind of, I mean, I'm an Apple sheep, but they look kind of like Android skin custom pack of just kind of like, they're all random shapes and they don't have too much consistency with them. No, the streaming might be okay on its own, but the radio and mm -hmm. messages look a little bit too off-brand to me. Sure. It used to be nice where everything was kind of filtered into entertainment, but now right. it's arcade and theater. And even yeah, when you press separate. arcade or theater, it's still in there. Oh. It's now just huh. separated a little bit. My, still, my favorite thing is probably the fart mode. But <laughs> That's the crucial. Uh, arcade looks a little bit different now. Now it's a nice little bomb slider instead of yeah, a it's still cool. vertical list. It, it's a little bit quick in that manner. But mm -hmm. I have noticed, talking about speed, things mm -hmm. have slowed down with this update. Oh, really? Whenever I move the map or whatever, it's doing fine right now because we're not moving uh -huh. but whenever we're driving around sometimes the map has a hard time trying to render what uh -oh. the next block or acre looks like might be intel <laughs> it could be intel. <laughs> it could be anything maybe uh, but it definitely takes a lot longer for things to change or mm -hmm. update on the screen one other thing that i think would be nice is being able to slide or have a bigger touch interface for this slider oh okay um it's to show fun. you your next steps or whatever, just like yeah. seeing how far in advance you could look. Well, what I like to look at is what my battery percentage is going to be at the end of the trip, where the only information they give you here is time you'll get there, how long that's going to be in duration, and how far it is Got in it. terms of miles usually, because okay. we're at Best Buy or the Best Buy parking lot. Mm -hmm. uh, it's only 200 feet. But I would like to know, at least on my trip, what's the ending battery percentage because mm -hmm. right now we're at 78 right if it's going to be maybe a 10 mile drive mm -hmm. what's it going to be i mean i can estimate in my head but i don't want to do that work right i'd like to machine the machine to do that work. and does me. this get more complicated with waypoints now have you used waypoints much i have used waypoints it doesn't get as complicated okay uh, i good. actually like the waypoint update it's really cool good um it's a lot easier to add things you can add a stop in there mm -hmm. and uh, we'll do hyundai or whatever and so now i'll tell you okay we're going to hyundai first and i guess we'll go 
a Best Buy next. Mm -hmm. It does tell you the buyer percentage there, but not when it's a single route, in which usually Weird. when I drive to work, that's just a single route. I don't have uh -huh. a multiple waypoint of going to work and then coming back home. So is it mostly the heated seats and the HVAC controls that they moved out of the way, or are there other things that take several taps now? There's other things that now uh, either don't work or Ooh. only work in a certain configuration. Mm -hmm. I'll just show if I wanted to switch the speed limit to 15 miles per hour for my autopilot, I can't tap on it anymore like that. I really? have to expand the screen and then tap over where the icons moved. Oh, that's a straight up bug. That's a bug. Right? Yeah. <laughs> That's an issue. Oh, there you go. The big visualization is cool. Do you use that much at all? Sometimes. I like how things are now teleporting in and out. <laughs> the car's moving <laughs> across the map. Uh, what cool. I do miss, though, from the mm -hmm. last FSD update is it used to have this configuration. Oh, it got rid of the split It doesn't approach. exist anymore. That's actually what I would leave it on because my only issue, I really like the visualization full screen just because you can see so much, especially if you're on the beta, that's cool. But my only issue is it makes knowing your next turn a lot more complicated. Exactly. So you just have like one little tile that says, oh, you have a right coming up eventually. So having the map is nice, but I definitely, I mean, I'm used to driving my car with my phone for GPS. So I don't mind if the map is just a, a tiny column. Mm -hmm. Like I personally don't need the map to be most of the screen as no. long as I can get a general premise of like, here's your exit or here's your turn. That kind of bums me out. I didn't realize they got rid of that option. That's probably the layout I would have chosen. If I was on beta, I want most of the screen visuals and then just the most right third or or fourth to be the map. Mm -hmm. That's too bad. Another thing is they've made it a little bit more simpler by removing your name or your driver profile, profile from the top right. Oh yeah, that's gone. Huh? It's now hidden in this menu. And whenever you want to change things, you have to go into that menu and then tap again. So it's more taps. Oh, know, wow. More taps to get so to. So they've buried that if you're switching between. Along with that, there used to be a dash cam button up there that you'd press. Mm. Yeah, it's a little bit further away for you to tap, but uh -huh. you don't usually need to tap the dash cam button unless there's an... Uh, emergency or issue that or mm -hmm. something that you want to capture so where's dash cam now now you have to hit the car button again again <laughs> and then you have to hit the dash cam button right there oh. for the longest time i couldn't figure out where you could watch the feed or oh at least right the recordings go back and watch and it took me about a week or so to finally realize oh it's in these apps and i've now put on the dock right here for the dash cam. Oh, okay but, was that a quick command you could access before or uh, is no, that new that's new it okay. used to be where you'd have to tap it right here uh, so it was still one tap away before two taps because two taps. you tap on there to open up that menu and mm -hmm. then tap again to access the viewer. I see. And now um, you just tap down here and that's the viewer right away? Yes. Okay. But you can only access that when you're parked. You can't use oh, that when okay. you're driving because that, or eh, maybe they changed it in the update. I haven't tried it okay. while I'm driving because I'm usually driving. Yeah, I was going to say, you probably don't want to watch videos anyway as no. the car's in motion. And either my passenger uh -huh. or whether it's my wife or you, I don't think you mm -hmm. guys are interested in looking at the dash cam footage while I'm driving. No. Instead, no. you're more interested <laughs> in the visualization or just how it's yeah, that's fair. Control. The HVAC seems like the biggest oversight to me. That is I a think, big oversight. Yeah, this, what is, auto is grayed out. Yeah, also, what is auto? That's my biggest question. What was that? With the, that's just for changing the oh, air I see. conditioning. Weird. But the auto button. Does, and it's on my side too. Yeah, and you can hit the heated seat button. Uh-huh. It doesn't change the auto button, even if I refresh <laughs> the screen. So this is just a pointless button, even though it's software related. Yeah, I wonder it's why they here. added that. It's been here since Christmas, and they've had one update since Christmas. Uh-huh. Nothing. I do like that there's now icons for keeping the air conditioning on or dog mode. Or yeah, I don't mode. remember that being there. Uh, that it used to do. probably be somewhere up here, or you had to tell it or something like that. Uh, okay. I forget what it looked like. So driver profiles have been moved into the car button. The heated seats and HVAC have been pushed. Is anything else more taps away now? The charging button. Uh, oh, really? It's at least different. I think it used to be on the bottom toolbar for if you're charging yeah. or if you... Hit... Wasn't there an energy graph yeah, option? Yeah, used to be able to, I think, hit the... Uh, charge port door and then it'd open up the charging menu which I guess it does here but it's a lot more minimal you don't really yeah. see as much information on this anymore yeah but they compensated by putting a lot more information up here when that's people... right you showed me that earlier just yeah. that it's very small print it's not like in your face this is how many kilowatts this is how many miles per hour exactly one other thing that I really enjoyed using or at mm -hmm. least I frequented using is the tire pressure I like to oh, yeah. my tire pressure during the summer and winter and before you would you would swipe. just swipe on the bottom yeah. Now you can't do that, and oh, I guess I could dismiss that, but you mm -hmm. you can't do that anymore. I guess we're in park, but even when you're driving, you can't do that. What you have to do is hit the car button. Again. <laughs> it's always the car button now, and then you have to go down.
down to service. And once oh, you're at service, then here. you can see that it looks like we might be low or it might just be a sensor not knowing what the yeah. PSI is on that. We just got new tires. So we just got new tires on it. Yeah. It only took about 27,000 miles. <laughs> yeah. So they've moved that. I guess it just sounds more like me uh, complaining that things have been moved around like a boomer or an old man. It's not really intuitive anymore. I would agree it's okay to complain you're not a boomer old man if it's more <laughs> taps away because I, to me, the HVAC seems like the most obvious one. Like, I can kind of get behind the concept of not being as in your face about the energy when charging. Mm -hmm. Kind of like Tesla starting to act a tad more like Apple in the sense of like, you don't need to know how fast it's charging. You know, just don't think about it, right? You just yeah. plug in and come back in 20 minutes or whatever, right? And they're trying to just get rid of all the, the hard data because they don't want you worrying. So that I can kind of understand. Maybe the driver profile thing, my only possible excuse I could think of is them saying the, the car will detect by the phone, right? It'll, it'll be like, oh, that's Mike's phone. So he bring up his profile. Therefore, we don't need to have the profile as accessible because the car will know who's getting in. Can it tell the difference between if your wife's no. sitting in the passenger? So <laughs> she still has to tap. She, it's now two taps for her instead of uh -huh. one tap where she okay. used to be able to tap on the top right of the screen, but now she has to go into the car menu right. and then tap on the profile and then tap hers. And even so, after she's driven, and then the next day when I get in the car, sometimes it doesn't recognize that it's now me. So oh, it, even if she's not with you? Even if she's not with me, oh, I'm getting up early okay. for work. So my argument doesn't work. Then. No, it just, <laughs> it just hasn't worked. And even so, I've done soft resets and hard resets multiple times on the vehicle and it hasn't changed it. Wow. So the mindset is them just wanting to clean up this top menu bar. Makes it look cleaner. It? But it just looks a little cleaner. I don't think anyone's looking up there. Was there anything else up at the top that they removed or was that the main thing? I have noticed there used to be a button at least for looking for things other than superchargers, just regular oh, yeah. charge point or EV go chargers. Uh -huh. I can't seem to find that anymore. There is a button for for... I wouldn't be shocked if it was due to lack of use maybe <laughs> but if i'd like the idea that i could find those in case of emergency sure. if i'm and there's driving. some free ones right there's some free ones yeah, yeah which would be appealing it's not there anymore and i don't know where it's gone hmm. and even my my wife even before this update she's like i'd still like to get to know the car a little bit more with its interface now we're in this new update and she's like i've got no clue where anything is anymore i need to sit <laughs> in the car removed. again right so i guess it, nothing's really changed too much on that but now she used to have an idea now mm -hmm. she's got no idea having seen it in person now in most bothered by by the lack of space around the HVAC controls and how they've embedded things to be several taps away. Mm -hmm. And yet there's clearly a place you could have just, heated seats right there. Just control it right on the bottom or yeah. AC on and off, which is what it was before. I, I know I'm asking them to just change it back, but I don't really see any advantage to this. I don't think it makes it look much cleaner. At least um, provide some modularity like you do with these apps right here. Yeah, like can you fill this dock in further? Is that- Nope, it's only four. If I try putting in <sighs> streaming, it'll kick off one of them no, but then if i, I guess on. if i put it back then it restores it but it's no gone. this this should be able to hold way more apps in my opinion yeah it shows recent apps here so like the most recent app was that can you get rid of the recent apps no so it has to show the it always recent. has to show recent apps i think a great solution was done by some app developer guy we can put we'll him put him here we can put him right there i think he had a fantastic solution unfortunately he kind of got shut down by a couple people on twitter for it i think it's a fantastic approach mm -hmm. to it I, I really hope tesla takes a lot of these criticisms that we have with this new update and improve the ui further to mm -hmm. where it's a lot safer for drivers to use. Right. And you don't also, want to be going through all the settings and taps no, when you're driving. No, <laughs> I don't want to be tapping everything because then the car yells at me on FSD. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't want to be yelled at. Sure. I want to be able to tap something or at least get to it within one or two taps. That's Instead, it's turned into five or six taps. Right. That's fair. So hopefully yeah. they fix something. Otherwise, it took them forever, but I'm glad they finally did that thing. Oh yeah, being this able is to way tap nicer. on that. That is nicer than having to go into what it is now, going right. to a menu and tapping something yeah. and then changing it. Sure. It's now just a one tap away. So would you? Be be asking for a complete just revert back to what it used to be here or do you think there's a way you can still keep like customizable pinned apps and still have quick access to hvac controls and stuff i think i've gotten used to it now i'm annoyed mm -hmm. but i'm living with it now okay. <laughs> you're getting by annoyed but living with it uh -huh. i think if they bring in the hot fix or at least some fix that would be applied to model s's and x's and threes and y's because mm -hmm. i from my understanding this was a day one issue with s's and x's with the new right. refresh right now that everything's kind of closely similar mm -hmm. in looks and feel now bring in that new change with adding right. in heated seats or at least being able to add in that button mm -hmm. for drivers if they don't want it there then they can have it as clean as it looks and yeah. they'll be happy because they can 
show it in. Yeah, just make it one of these things, honestly. Yeah. Like, if you want to make it super clean down here for whatever reason, make that an option. Like but... this menu right here, and then just... Try yeah, if you could down. drag that in. Because, yeah, there's just so much empty space in between. Because to access this menu, I have to change the AC number. Maybe I like it at 65. Right. You don't want to have to change HVAC. I mean, some people would rather use heated seats instead of turning on any HVAC, right? To save yeah. on efficiency. I guess one last thing as well. There used to be buttons for changing the fan speed. That's, and now you just slide. Now it's a slider. Hmm. And when I'm driving, I mean, look, I. You don't want to have to finger find wanders, the slider. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. And yeah, I guess you could tap, but I don't have that accuracy when I'm driving. No, you're looking and at I'm the road. And I'm not going to ask my wife to do it when sure. I want a certain setting, and then she can just mm -hmm. change the direction that she wants the air conditioning. I don't think this is a fundamental issue. Some people are probably like, this is what happens when you do everything on the screen. But I feel like there is still an intuitive, simple way to do everything on one screen. I don't think that the solution is more screens or more buttons. Mm -hmm. I do think this is a software problem. And I really don't think it was that bad before, the way they had it. I think no. this was solid. My best running theory is that because of the chip shortage and the software team having to recode all the different chips for the new Model Ys and 3s and combined with the holiday update premise of we need to roll out an update by a certain time for everybody. And make it look somewhat like the SNX. Yeah, it has to look different. We want this update to feel major. It was like a time crunch. They didn't have much time to refine and figure things out. That's, right. that's what I hope it is and not just negligence and poor designing because obviously they've done bigger updates in the past that fixed a lot of issues and people were happy with them. Now it feels like we're going in the opposite direction of, oh God, go back. <laughs> this isn't right. working. So I'm hoping that's the reason. I don't know what Elon meant in response by saying all input is error. It's like, well, uh, this update requires more input. You have to you have to spend more time inputting. <laughs> so it's fixable for sure. There's, there's a clear path to success. It's a headache. It's, yeah. Headache also one other time. thing, the uh, duration of a song, you can't really see it during the day unless you- Oh yeah. Watch. You can barely see where the song is in terms of where it it's started and then. Tiny black line. Yeah. What's nice, I guess, is when it turns into night mode, it now turns into a white line above uh, this black toolbar. So uh -huh. you can actually see it more. So it's a little bit more definitive or yeah, you can see it better. Very where subtle. during the day it's hard to see especially when you're driving you're like oh right. what, what's that part in the song that we're at or is it coming up to the drum solo that i like <laughs> i mean they could make it like a bolder black something yeah. a little bit more thicker that you can notice mm -hmm. or at least maybe some marker on the very front of that header yeah to at least show where it's at in the song so that way at least people can use it instead of having to squint and try to figure out while they're focusing <laughs> yeah. on driving. It's pretty subtle. Yeah. So would you say Tesla is still the king in overall software? Well, I haven't been in a Lucid <laughs> yeah. or a Rivian. Mm -hmm. uh, the most recent thing that we've been in that's been different than a Tesla is the Hyundai Ioniq 5. That had a pretty good interior, but nothing like this big screen that we have in the Model 3s and Model Ys and I yeah. guess the SX now. I guess I'd say yes, but I think the margin's definitely decreasing yeah. in terms of It's less of a lead, but it's still a lead. Exactly. I have to agree. After playing with the Ionic, and even when we briefly checked out the Rivian at the first mile event, it's, I would say they're probably closest. Again, yeah. I haven't checked out a Lucid, but Rivian's probably closest to Tesla. But yeah, just the amount of things they can pack into a single screen, and of course, fart mode, arcade all that you need that all of that crucial software <laughs> unmatched so thank you for uh sharing your thoughts with us we'll see you next update yeah thanks take for care. having me drew take care everyone bye